rising up from the desert floor is a spectacular man-made creation. There's an old saying that says, uh, if you want to discover the horizon, you got to leave the shores. The Odyssey Aquarium is a one-of-a-kind interactive experience. See how one man's dream turned into an engineering marvel. He's always said, if you believe in it, then you have to make it happen. Learn what it takes to build a two million gallon aquarium in the desert. It's a gargantuan task. Check out the spectacular exhibits from an underwater diving experience to hanging with penguins and otters. Odyssey Aquarium is a, is a magical place. Uh, it's, it's truly spectacular. Come along as we dive into the magical world of the Odyssey Aquarium. When you first see the desert, you don't necessarily think ocean or sea life, but for one determined man with a vision, it's exactly what he had in mind. The opportunity to provide people with uh, a both an entertainment and educational experience when it comes to marine life, uh, they shouldn't be deprived. Amran Konishinsky isn't an ordinary man. He sees potential where others may not. As a real estate developer, he made his career in land but the ocean has been his passion. Growing up in uh, Israel, uh, you spend the summer every day at the beach, and uh, you learn how to swim, and you learn to uh, uh, snorkels and, and, and see what, uh, what the Mediterranean is all about. As an adult, that passion fueled an interest in aquariums. Phoenix is the last large metropolitan area in the whole United States that doesn't have a big aquarium. This was all this visionary needed to set him on his 25-year quest to build the largest aquarium in the Southwest and to give Arizonans never before seen access to marine life. His journey would first take him to Newport, Kentucky. So we invited some of the best mind when it comes to aquariums in the world. Uh, everybody walked to the blackboard and basically voice their dream exhibit that they would like to see in an aquarium. And we came up with an interesting model that um, was designed from the inside out rather than from the outside in. Amram and his partners unveiled the prototype at the International Shopping Convention. It was met with much interest. And just three short years later, using Amram's prototype, the Newport Aquarium in Kentucky is built. First year, a million two hundred and forty thousand people have uh, came to see that and it continued to operate to these days very successfully. A few years later, Amram and his team develop an aquarium retail concept at the popular Mohegan Sun Casino. And based on that success, Amram knows it's time to bring his greatest vision to reality in Arizona. The Phoenix metropolitan area has about uh, 4.3 million people. Uh, in Arizona, we have about six and a half million people, and uh, 18 million tourists come to the Phoenix metropolitan area on a yearly basis. With Arizona's largely untouched, undeveloped landscape, you'd think finding a home for the aquarium would be easy. In order to attract uh, visitors from around the valley and from outside, from Flagstaff, Prescott, uh, Tucson, and so forth, it was important for us to be by a freeway exit. Finally, in 2006, a site was selected. The next step was to work with the Native American landowners to obtain permission for the site just northwest of the 101 and Via de Ventura. The landowners understood that we're doing something different. Here we're doing something that is alive and, and really honor their ancestor in a different way than anything else that has been developed. The process uh, actually took five years. It's not for the fainted heart, and you gotta have a lot of patience. With the land secured, Amram was free to move forward with construction. Because this was no ordinary project, Amram knew he needed extraordinary design and construction partners, people he could trust with his vision. Our architect uh, is a uh, Deutsche Associate, and they are the architect that uh, designed the Newport Aquariums when we built it over there. So it was a natural thing for us to uh, uh, employ them as part of our team. The reason we chose McCarthy is that um, they have uh, 
brought to the table experience in many fields. The first phase of Odyssey in the Desert became a reality in 2013 when Butterfly Wonderland and Odyssey Mirror Maze opened. It's really uh, an interesting uh, phenomena because uh, in the last three years, we have had uh, over a million visitors to the Butterfly. Satisfied with the success of those attractions, Amram forges ahead on the bigger dream of Odyssey Aquarium, a 200,000 square foot destination that would astonish anyone who enters and immerse guests in a marine life experience unlike any other. And this is as close up as you can get to nature without actually diving into the ocean yourself. So the combination of all of it and the ability to educate the public by doing it in an entertaining way is what our mission is about in Odyssey Aquarium. Coming up, the aquarium begins to take shape. See how this engineering marvel is built from the ground up as the Odyssey story continues. B. All 17 penguin species live in the southern hemisphere, and many of them, such as the African penguin, live in warm weather climates. You can visit with Pip, Polly, and the other penguins at Penguin Point at Odyssey Aquarium. With a vision in place, the next phase was the actual construction of Odyssey. The biggest challenge, building an aquarium in the middle of the desert, where temperatures can soar above 110 degrees. And there was one more thing. Amran wanted to build the 200,000 square foot structure on a radius, no straight lines. I find that sharp 90 degree corners are very difficult for large crown to navigate. Where if you round the corners and um, create large um, public spaces, movements of large numbers of people is accommodated in a way that you cannot do it with straight line. It took longer to build, but the effect is really amazing. Deutsch Architecture Group was selected to design Odyssey. McCarthy Building Companies handled the construction process. If Amram's ideas of an aquarium were considered bold, the process to bring it to reality was equally as innovative. Architects used 3D models to create what the building would look like, and then McCarthy integrated that into software known as BIM, or Building Integration Model. Basically build the entire project in 3D, then you are able to animate it to the point to where the owner can look at, is this really what they wanted to achieve? Probably the most important part of how we look at virtual construction is it allows us to identify any issues with construction, constructability of the project, before we put a shovel in the ground. Instead of drawing two lines and calling it a wall, we actually have a 3D wall where you can, you know, cut through the model, spin it around, look underneath, you know, and it's really, it's a very efficient way to schematically design. Due to construction requirements, crews built the aquarium from the inside out, with 16 of the 55 habitats being cast on site. Then the walls of the aquarium went up. More than 5,000 square feet of acrylic makes up the window walls of the habitats. And when you have two million gallons of water that needs to be kept in place, there is no room for error. This scope of the exhibits and what we were doing was so unique and so different that we had to construct the exhibits first before we went ahead and constructed the actual aquarium. The benefit of doing it that way is, is that we could get these large massive acrylic windows in here. That's really the key to our success. A few of the habitats really tested the design and construction teams. Sea Trek is a first of its kind underwater experience until Odyssey. Sea Trek experiences took place in oceans. This is the first one housed in an aquarium. Situated on the upper level, Sea Trek allows you to interact with ocean life by literally walking underwater. Sea Trek is over 200,000 gallons, but the unique aspect is it's built in the middle of the aquarium on the, on the third floor and extends through the second floor into the first floor. Because you just kind of go scratch your head and go, who decided to build a swimming pool on 20 foot stilts? <laughs> and that's really what it is. Once you build the large structure, you actually have to line that with a special coating to make sure that the water doesn't leak. Then we have these rockwork artisans that come in and build structures 
then they spray it with concrete, and then they literally take little tools and brushes and carve all of the rock work. You don't realize it when you walk by and you look at it, how complex it was and what a success it is. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. And another first of its kind, an enormous carousel on the first floor that greets guests and gives them their first glimpse at the marine life. But this really incorporates Disney technology where we have 600 individuals on the carousel at any one time rotating in a clockwise format with four individual theaters, everything from sharks to sea lions to turtles that are endangered, and we educate you and we teach you all about marine life. And what's unique is it's a 20 minute experience where you get to sit down in a comfortable seat and experience a sea trek diver then you rotate, you literally rotate inside the exhibit. From the acrylic tube walkways guests used to make their way from floor to floor, to the nine globe-shaped aquariums hanging in the aqua lobby, every inch of Odyssey is a true marvel in engineering. Since March 2015, when Odyssey broke ground, construction workers, electrical workers, and others have worked diligently to lay over five miles of piping, installed 1,198 steel beams, and poured 12,300 cubic yards of concrete. That's enough concrete to build more than 750 swimming pools. The project was grandiose. It wasn't just about an aquarium. It was about building an entertainment district that is anchored by the aquarium. Odyssey sits on a 35-acre parcel that's part of the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community. The architects worked closely with the Indian community to incorporate Native American aesthetics into the design. The wave, as we call it, um, is really signifying the river. And the river is very important to the community. We also have some very large elements on our stair towers where we, we did an interpretation of a Pima basket. Uh, architecturally, it looks beautiful, but it is also has a lot of significance for the community members. More than 30,000 animals in marine life will call Odyssey home, a home that is a truly spectacular feat of limitless imagination, innovation, and inspiration. Coming up, see how thousands of animals make their way to their new home at the aquarium. And anticipation builds as opening day nears and the public gets its first look at Odyssey. is sea. Despite the folklore about turtles being slow, sea turtles can move through the water at speeds up to 15 miles an hour. You can see the sea turtles in action as part of the Sharks of the Deep exhibition at Odyssey Aquarium. An aquarium is more than a building. After all, it's the animals who bring the space to life. But how do you go about curating a collection? How do you decide who's in and who's out? David Peranto, Director of Animal Care and Conservation, explains animal selection was a group decision. We wanted to make sure that animals were not only bright and beautiful and full of life, but also came from the region we wanted to display. We wanted to make sure that certain species got along with other species. Uh, and also, we wanted to make sure that there was no crossbreeding between species. Another aspect was some of the conservation efforts that, that we want to pursue and be a part of. One of which is our trout exhibit. We're working with Arizona Game of Fish right now, and we're displaying two very threatened species in Arizona, the Apache and the Gila trout. And what we want to do is bring awareness to our guests, try and find ways to make sure these animals are here for generations to come. Deciding which animals would be a part of the collection was easy. Locating the new tenants would take more time. Curiously, few came from the wild. A lot of our animals here at Odyssey Aquarium actually came from other facilities. Uh, it's not uncommon for aquariums all across the country to not only um, consultate with each other, but also share animals. Many of the aquariums that have species that outgrew in terms of size or in terms of numbers in their habitat, so they came from the Mandalay Bay Aquariums in Las Vegas, they came from the Steinhardt Aquarium, Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, and the list goes on and on and on. Eventually, the Odyssey residents were introduced to their new homes. There may not have been a red carpet, but there was little doubt the celebrities had arrived. Now, it was time for everyone to get acquainted. Animals with their new homes, and curators with their new charges. 
As animal care specialists, we are really in tune with our animals and their behavior. So they can't tell us if they are happy or if they have a belly ache. So it's our job to watch their behavior, to develop a relationship with them, and to be able to truly understand what is typical of them and what is atypical. The behaviors that we wanted to look for immediately were appropriate socialization, normal swim patterns, and of course, regular eating. Those were all excellent indicators that they were thriving in their new home. Jessica Parento is the Director of Animal Care and Education. She's also married to David. Together, they provided temporary housing for some of Odyssey's most popular residents. Life with otters is wonderful. Um, lots of work, lots of fun. Otterly amazing, if you will. Life with otters is amazing. Um, it's like having three more children, uh, although you can baby-proof your house, but you can't otter-proof your house. So it was a wonderful experience. Uh, our otters are amazing animals. Uh, we got to swim with them all the time. We got to snuggle with them. I think they're going to be great additions here to Odyssey Aquarium. The health of the animals is always the first and foremost concern of the Odyssey staff and good health begins with the proper diet. So here at Odyssey Aquarium, we go through several hundred pounds of food every single day for all of our animals. It's provided by a company that distributes seafood restaurant quality, and we here as animal care specialists, in addition to that, go through every single fish that each of our animals are going to eat that day just to ensure the quality of the fish, make sure that there are no breaks or tears in the skin, anything where bacteria could enter the fish. Um, once that is done, we divvy it up to all of our animal areas and it's properly weighed out. So each animal's caloric intake is recorded uh, to make sure that they're eating the most optimal diet for them. Here at Odyssey Aquarium, you know, we really realize the importance of bringing the ocean to everybody. The ocean is not just affected by those in coastal communities, so we all need to do our part. That's a big reason that we're here in uh, Arizona, to convey that message, to invite our visitors out, to make that connection with these animals, and to realize the importance, not only the importance of our animals, but what they can do to help the health of our oceans. After years of planning and construction, everything and everyone is in place. It's apparent the new residents have given their new home two fins up and their seal of approval. And now it's time to meet their fans. The penguins, otters, and sharks are ready for their big day. Coming up, go with us for the grand opening of the Odyssey Aquarium. Answer is A. The Amazon River is more than 4,000 miles long, which is the distance from New York City to Rome, Italy. It is the second largest river in the world. You can learn more about the Amazon and other rivers in the Rivers of the World exhibit. It may be one of Arizona's biggest tourist attractions second only to the Grand Canyon. Opening day was absolutely amazing to have tens of thousands of people here waiting to get in our, our doors and seeing all of the entertainment happening in our center courtyard at Odyssey in the desert was, was spectacular. I was so excited. From the sands of the Sonoran Desert, an ocean has emerged. Sharks and saguaros, penguins and prickly pear. The unlikely setting making the scene all that more amazing. I was outside Saturday morning helping and assisting with the lines. I'd ask people, have you been to an aquarium before? Is this your first aquarium? And so many people said, this is my first. I am so excited. You know, my feelings on opening day were, were at multitude of levels and running in different directions, all the way from seeing our founder, Amram Kanichki's vision come alive, to seeing our team members actually be inside the building working together, seeing our animals in their habitats flourishing, and then ultimately having our guests come through the door and the comments that they were making, just, oh wow, this is amazing, oh my gosh, look at that. The guests have many, many favorite already. So some people are just absolutely enchanted by, by the jellyfish. Other people have uh, discovered the living sea carousels and have told me they have stayed time and time again going around and looking at some of the largest species that we have, including the sea lions and the sharks, and some of the biggest windows that we have of acrylic uh, in the country. When everything comes together, years in the making, and you get to stand there or sit and watch as guests and, and children witness what you've 
really envisioned for over 20 years come to fruition and watch them get excited, watch their eyes light up when they see the sharks or they see the jellyfish. That's when it really hits my father, that his dream has come alive, that, that people are being able to experience what he had really had in his head and carried for the last two decades. I am uh, blessed to have nine grandchildren. For them to see what uh, grandpa has done is, is really giving me uh, a lot of pleasure. The employees bring with them a level of passion and enthusiasm for everything that they do here at Odyssey. And what we've seen are hundreds and hundreds of comments and social media from Facebook to Twitter and other circles congratulating the Odyssey Aquarium employees because that kind of passion is something that comes from within. So to me, it's a legacy. I wanted to do something in the town that I've been living for um, 45 years. I've, uh, I'm an ASU alumni and uh, my kids have grown here, so it was important for us to do something meaningful. I think that our, our family set out to develop and build something that will be here for many, many years to come. We wanted to make a mark on Arizona, which is positive. You look at a lot of different aquariums across the country, and they've been in business for 30, 40, 50 plus years, entertaining children and their children's children. And so when we look long term, we are so excited at the awesome power and the longevity of an aquarium such as Odyssey Aquarium. You know, Amram really wanted this aquarium to be built in the middle of the desert for all the right reasons. And he evoked an emotion within this area that actually got a lot of people to become lifetime members and annual pass holders very early on in the process. And we're really excited to have them as our partners and our ambassadors. And those folks are really going to help create a wonderful guest experience program for us. And, and having them come through the doors and be part of our experience was very rewarding as well. The age of discovery was ushered in by explorers like Columbus, Magellan, and da Gama, all set out upon the seas in search of riches and new lands. At Odyssey Aquarium, we believe the real treasure is under the water, not above it. The diversity of life that fills not only our oceans, but our lakes and rivers are gifts of untold wealth. And now they are yours to discover. Your Odyssey awaits. Thank you for joining us for this look at Odyssey Aquarium. We hope you've enjoyed this insider's look at this extraordinary aquarium. Now it's time for you to see it up close. Experience the vast world of marine and ocean life. Go to odysseyaquarium.com for ticket information and to learn more about this incredible place.